Hey everybody and uh, welcome back to the Game Nexus. It's uh, Dwayne here and today we're coming at you with a little bit of a different video uh, than we've normally run on the channel. We haven't really done a lot of chatting about this particular game, uh, part and parcel to the fact that the game is kind of going through a transition right now. They've originally released a rule set but they've actually kickstarted a new edition of the game which is kind of an interesting uh, way to kickstart a product because the product already exists. But uh, that game is Relic Knights. Now, Relic Knights is a game uh, from Ninja Division, and I actually just encountered the game through pure happenstance. I was just browsing one day and just, you know, happened to see an ad for it or something just came up on my feed. And, you know, being curious, I went and followed it through, and, and lo and behold, this game existed. And uh, what immediately captured my uh, attention for the game was that the art style, it was a uh, anime miniature game. It was a game that was heavily inspired by uh, anime. The artwork is pure anime and uh, science fiction, uh, video games, pop culture, you know, just everything that uh, sort of captured my attention as a younger person was in uh, full display here in this game. So, you know, following through and getting some more information on the game, I uh, soon realized that the game actually was a current product, but uh, the ad that I had found was actually for a second edition of the game. So uh, Ninja Division was currently revising and uh, it kickstarted and a, a new product line was going to be coming out. So immediately jumped on board, did a lot of research on it and uh, went so far as actually to buy some product. Now, the second edition product is not available yet, but the first edition of the product is, is readily available, just not at the local level. So I sourced out an online retailer order some product i managed to get a really good deal on some of the product actually it only cost me like twenty dollars to get into a starter kit uh through meeple mart um so got that uh the rules were available uh for free so that was a big plus as well and they also came in the starter pack that i bought um, but the, the second edition of the rules currently is available uh, as a public file as they're working through their beta testing of it uh, so got that got some tokens in the starter set painted up the figures and away we went into the world of relic knights so what is Relic Knights? Well, Relic Knights, like I said, is heavily inspired by anime. Um, so when you look at the figures, uh, Relic Knights is, uh, is very much, um, you know, over the top, uh, female heroes, male heroes, alien invaders, lots of science fiction mixed with fantasy, mixed with magic, just everything you'd want in any kind of a hodgepodge game of all your favorite genres, um, brought to life with just stunning artwork. Um, the game does play out in a traditional miniature game fashion, um, so there is figures, there's units, there's squads, there's hero characters, um, but what really stood out to me about Relic Knights was the fact that there was no dice. So this was a miniature game that didn't use dice, and that, that alone is enough to make it very unique in the industry. Um, but, you know, I was kind of curious about how the game would play out, what kind of mechanics were at use. Well, Relic Knights basically replaces your dice with what they call Esper decks. And Esper decks, or Esper, um, is basically a magical energy or a mystical energy um, in the universe of Relic Knights that sort of powers the various abilities and various powers and, uh, and what have you of all the different characters in the game. So each of the factions within the game uh, gravitate towards a specific esper and uh, these are dictated by colors and symbols on the cards um, you know when you purchase a game of relic knights when you purchase a game of relic knights uh, you get an esper deck and an esper deck is 42 cards of the various color types um, and what these cards look like are right here and so they have a traditional back to it um, and the random element comes in what actually shows up on the card. Now, obviously, if you're playing a certain faction, you're going to want to pull cards from the deck as you play that are aligned with your faction. This random element of drawing cards uh, is just like any kind of collectible card game that you'd play, whether it be Magic or any other game, uh, and that as you're pulling them, that, that's the randomizer right there. So the game will require you to pull cards um, at random, hoping that you get the ones you want. So that's sort of what replaces the dice mechanic in the game. Um, and to me, that that was a novel enough idea that it just, you know, got me right into the game right off the bat. Uh, 
So let's talk about the figures of Relic Knights specifically. Um, I actually purchased two sets. Um, there is several factions in the game, um, at least half a dozen factions in the game. Uh, the, the miniature range is quite extreme at this point. However, like I said, you're not going to find it at a local level. Um, sadly enough, you're probably going to have to resort to an online ordering uh, right from Ninja Division. Um, again, I pledged late pledge on the Kickstarter. So I'm going to actually have quite a lot of products showing up on my doorstep probably in early 2018. Uh, in addition to a brand new two-player box set, which is going to come with two new factions to the Relic Knight universe, um, you know, the tokens and the game mat and such. But, uh, you know, as the product rolls out, I will have lots of different figures from different factions and I'm quite excited to show you guys. But what do I have now? Well, right now I've purchased two factions. I've got the Doctrine and I have the Circe Speed Circuit. Now, the Doctrine are, in my words, when I explain it to friends, are basically uh, sort of intergalactic Harry Potters. They're, they're the wizards, um, you know, the, the students, the, the studiers of the mystic arts. I guess you could say kind of like the Jedi Knights, sort of. Um, but very cool. This is actually a $20 box set that I picked up off Meeple Mart, so crazy good deal on that one. Um, as far as the figures go, you know, I've taken uh, sort of a, a quick speed paint uh, concept to some of my figures here. Um, and, uh, you know, as you go online and start looking at the various tutorials, you're going to see lots of immaculately painted figures. So if you're a fan of this style of uh, visuals and these kind of figures, and again, like I said, there's not really much like it in the, in the market right now, really. I mean, Infinity would be the closest thing that I could see that if you're an anime fan that uh, sort of pulls you into that world. Um, but if you are looking for something a little bit more over the top, a little bit more, you know, less less serious, a little bit more tongue-in-cheek and, you know, sort of embraces the craziness that the anime uh, world has, Relic Knights is a solid game. Now, again, the rules haven't been finalized, so if you are waiting uh, to see a retail product, you know, that's fair. You know, more or less, you're probably going to end up having to buy it from Ninja Division. I don't think your local retailers are going to be selling it. Um, but if you really want to get into the hobby right off the bat, I mean, none of the figures that are existing currently are going to be rendered useless by the new edition of the rules. So like myself, if you want to just jump in and buy some product, hunt down an online retailer for it. Uh, again, Meeple Mart would be a good place to look. Um, and just get into some of the product. Um, download the 2.0 rule set, which I'll link in the description. Um, and it's going to give you the ability to print it out. I think it's about 48 pages. goes through the entire game. Um, now, one of the other things about the game is that they use player cards. Now, in the first edition of the game, they actually supported the cards in the box. So when I bought my starter set, it came with player cards for that rule set. Now, 2.0 hasn't released yet, and what they have been doing is releasing the player cards in PDF format without any kind of graphics, and that to me was kind of the, the real draw point to me. So as I'm teaching my uh, my daughter how to play the game and myself, I've actually gone and created some actual new player cards, which represent the new rules as they filter out. Now one of the frustrating things is that they're currently revising the rules which means I'm constantly having to make changes. However, having said that, if you go and get the latest batch, uh, they're not too far from going into print with these things. So if you go and get the latest cards, they are just a PDF and words only. Again, I'll put some links to my forums below where you can actually download some of the, the cards. And as the uh, rules are finalized, I'll be updating the figures that I have. Now, when 2.0 launches, um, I don't believe the player cards for any other figures besides the starter deck will be made available right away. I know my late pledge is coming with an updated uh, character pack for all the characters in the game. That's going to come at a later date. So keep an eye on my forum specifically because as the starter set comes out and as you maybe want to incorporate other figures, I'll be updating it with my figures. And if you do have any kind of requests, I, I don't make any promises that I can keep up with the man. But if you do want some of my custom cards that you see, if you like them, uh, shoot me a, an email or send a comment down below and I'll see what I can do about creating them for you. I know I've already created some cards for the 2.0 starter set for some of the community members to demo the game at various conventions and such. So that's Relic Knights in a, in a nutshell. I mean, the game is, uh, is exciting. It should be coming out in early 2018 with the two-player starter set. And hopefully we'll be doing some more Relic Knights videos. I've already got one battle report on our website, so if you want to check that out, again, I'll put the link below. And if you have any general questions about Relic Knights in general, I mean, I'm not an expert on the game by any means, uh, but I'll do my best to get you caught up to speed. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to the Game Nexus channel and hit us up on our website whenever you get a chance. And that's just Dwayne. Take care.